and welcome to Soul Belief Tarot. Today we are asking for a message from your future self on the key to your future success. And we have three piles for you to choose from. Pile one, Imhotep. And this is your key. Pile two. Avalon Priestess. And this is your key. Pile three, Bridget. And this is your key. Mm. So take as much time as you need to. Pause the video if you want to choose your pile or your piles. And then you head down to the description box where you will find timestamps that will take you directly to your reading. And I look forward to seeing you there. Hello, pile number one and welcome to your reading. We're stepping into the Akashic field, calling for a message from your future self about the key to your future success. And wow, you've chosen the card Imhotep Visionary. The solar radiance coming from this divine masculine being is extraordinary. The idea of you being able to see your future and thus create it. We have the Ankh, the key of life. We have solar power energy. This is divine masculine energy, being very clear, very calm, very kind. Wow, check out the radiance coming from the sun that is behind our divine masculine head. Also alerting me to your mind. The key is in your mind. And the key is in your sight. The Eye of Horus symbolized here is a symbol of protection, uh, restoration, health, um, healing. Oh, you have a healing touch. You have a healing mind. There's a way for you to see your future and thus create it. Pile number one. Interesting now, I'm seeing this, oh wow, this beautiful linking together on this key. The two, the two. Ah, I'm seeing now here the brain, the two sides of the brain, which is the rational side and the creative side. It's the logical side and um, the intuitive side. So this is about the two coming together. But also I'm getting very strongly here it is that what you see in your mind's eye is what you will create on the 3D. We have our beautiful uh, necklace adornment here as well. Throat chakra coming through with the blues and root chakra. So this is a very grounded, practical, logical, um, all-seeing eye, but it's um, high vibrational uh, visionary energy. So this isn't playing small or playing safe, but this is being grounded in reality. This is taking step by step, seeing the bigger picture, and then piece by piece bringing the vision to life bringing the vision to life. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. 
Okay, the tea leaves wanted to come through for you. Oh, shark. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. What I'm getting with the shark here is stealth. The shark is, is not a some sort of vicious creature roaming the seas. It, it is an animal of instinct. It moves silently. It moves swiftly. It moves clearly. It takes decisive action when decisive action is, is needed. This is the energy here. Absolutely having the big vision. So radiating out that, that um, intuitive vision, what you're setting your sights on, the bigger picture, but being willing to trust your instincts, and this is that divine feminine, divine masculine, two spheres of the brain coming in, trusting your instincts, moving with stealth, swiftness, and um, clear, decisive actions. Grounded in reality is very um, clear here with our sort of final ring of that root chakra energy, if you can see that. This root chakra energy. This is building from the ground up energy. Four leaf clover. Great good fortune. Wow. Haystack. Karma, you will reap what you have sown. This is coming together with the great good fortune. This process of really highly practical, logical, rational, step by step to, um, and then following your, trusting your instincts in the moment, but um, coming from a place of this beautiful throat chakra, this, um, what you set your sights on, the bigger, the bigger picture, this is going to lead to you reaping great good fortune. What do we have here? Goldfish. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I mean, <laughs> gorgeous. Absolutely. The Oh, this is beautiful. Skull. Hidden secrets can harm you. Again, I'm not really aligning with the words. It's about the mind. The key to your future success, pile number one, is in your mind. Is your ability to set a clear target with the shark. The shark knows what it wants and it makes a bold, courageous, but intelligent, stealthy, swift moves to, to catch its prey. This is the energy here. It's, it's in your mind. The key is in your mind. Setting your sights very clearly is coming through very, very strongly. We just see with that vision beaming out of Imhotep's mind. Being able to see what it is that you want to create very clearly. Um, having the belief that what you set forth will manifest and going about it. This is the advice, the guidance from your future self. Going about it in a step-by-step -step grounded in reality way. There's also a call here to speak your truth, your future truth into existence. Speak your future success into existence here. So you're setting your sights. Uh, perhaps you want to create a vision board of some kind or at the very least start to see, start to bring into your visual realm or you know th the podcast that you listen to or something like that that actually reflect the your future successful life. So you start watching videos, TV shows, listening to podcasts, music, whatever, that actually is feeding this vision, um, continuously feeding that solar, beautiful solar plexus energy of um, your intended success. Feeding the intention with what you consume, what you see with your eyes, what you hear with your ears, but also what you speak, how you talk matters, how you talk about your future success is key here, 
and that you're taking a step-by-step -step approach in the physical on the 3D plane. And this will just lead to um, great good fortune, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. I mean, the, the goldfish, the fish is a symbol of material abundance. And this is you reaping what you have sown. Gorgeous. What the top one? Psychic, intuitive, dreamy. This is aligned with the shark energy, this water energy of being in flow and trusting your instincts. Trusting your instincts. You set the clear intention. You set your sights on the successful life that you want to create. And then you're trusting your intuition again with these two. The two combined. Both spheres of the of the brain, the intuitive, the dreamy, being able to visualize, and um, the psychic um, intuitive actions, the instinctual actions, as well as these very practical, very logical, rational steps on the physical. Fire, radiant, enthusiastic, dynamic. I mean, check you out. This is a pathway to success. These vibrant sacral chakra, solar plexus chakra energies here are just <laughs> blinding was the word that came through. It's just so radiant, really. I feel like it's really important for you to have a very clear vision, very clear, like a very vibrant vision of your future success because it sets all everything in motion. It sets the intuitive, instinctual um, responses or actions into action. And it also sets the path, the pathway forward into action. It's all, this is key, this vision, this very clear, vibrant vision. Gaia, earth, nature, embodiment. This is it here, this embodying the journey, making it physical. Wow, this is, I mean, this is extremely beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Wow. Oh, Rado, the journey. You're on the right path. You're on the right path. You're in flow. You're in sync, pile number one. You're in flow and in sync. Tiwas, spiritual warrior, direct action. Kind of want to put that here, even though we can't quite see it all. Wow, I mean, this is, this is the key here. Wow. The aligning of the two spheres of, of the brain. That one wants to come through too. Uru's strength, you got this. You've got the power to do this. Very powerful, powerful energy there. Can I bring that up here? Very powerful energy. Mm. Mm. The one on the bottom wanted, flipped up, wanted to come through. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Four of Wands under that. Oh, well, I mean. <laughs> yes, the bottom of the deck wanted uh, to alert itself to you. Four of Wands, success, and it's this portal energy that I also get from Uruz. I see this as a gateway. I see this as a portal underneath that Ten of Pentacles. I mean, this is, this is you living your dream. Living your dream. Two of Cups coming into union with your manifestation, with your dream. This is things coming together. Okay, we're just going to move it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Wow, coming into union. This is also, uh, the Two of Cups is giving me alongside Rado, this being in flow. And this is this beautiful balance with the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is balanced energy. We have the infinity symbol here as well. We got this with our brain spheres. This is all about balancing this um, 
action on the physical with our pentacles energy, being in flow, you're, you are aligned here. You are very aligned with your vision. Um, mm, it's a soul vision. If you're having an idea now, if you already have a vision of your future success, you're, it's in line with your soul, pile number one. You're aligned. Wow, are you aligned. Very powerful, powerful energies here. Again, it's that balancing the actions on the physical with our pentacles energy. And also I get that with the bull here. Bull is Taurus. Very practical, pragmatic. And with our Gaia energy. This isn't getting lost in the dream. This is taking clear, concise and direct actions that lead you towards your Ten of Pentacles which is living the dream, it's living your dream, it's having um, what you want, being able to give and receive um, the things that you want to be able to give and receive. It's coming into union. Again, I get with just the two spheres of the brain here with the two of cups. This is uniting the two, the intuitive, the creative, the vision with clear, clear practical actions that will lead you to success. These are two very highly successful cards are coming out. The goldfish, four-leaf clover, the four of wands and ten of pentacles. The four of wands is reaching a milestone. It's the wedding card. It means that you've reached a moment in time of some kind of achievement or some kind of up leveling and then you move through the portal into the next level into the next upgrade of your life very clear practical steps are needed to bring this vision to life but all of the cards here pile number one are letting you know that with this clear vision clear vision um yeah i'm just getting that so strongly very accurate with the skull very um detailed a very clear vision is at the center this is the key to your future success and then going with the flow trusting your instincts trusting your intuition and making wise choices, wise, practical moves, practical, pragmatic, rational, logical moves on the physical will absolutely bring you to the successful realization of this beautiful vision of your future success. Pile number one, this is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful and very clear, very clear. Can we please have some last guidance for, thank you, beautiful. High Priest of Atlantis, Chakra Healing. This is, this is your future self letting you know that in the future you're aligned with your purpose and this is what has created this swirl of energy around you of manifestation, this clarity, clarity of intent, clear vision and then the, the energies of the universe swirl around you, around the point of that initial conception, that initial visualization. Beautiful, beautiful, mm, and more watery energy here, being in sync, in flow, intuitive, instinctual, Kuan Yin, kindness and nurturing, again balancing, balancing the vision with practical action with our fern front here the earthly plane. You have the vision, which is energy. It is a, it's like you're creating your own sun, your own sun of energy, of um, intentionality. 
and then you take your practical steps and keep both in balance. Star Maiden Rest. This is the dream energy. Wow, beautiful. Allow yourself to take the time here. Allow yourself to take the time to fully um, flesh out this dream of yours. Your vision, because this sets the course. The health of your vision, the clarity of your intent, the, the clarity of your sight, what you're seeing as your future successful life over here with the Ten of Pentacles, you receiving it, yeah, embodying that feeling as well of receiving um, what it is that you want to create and nurture this in the, in the dream state, in... Um, this, yeah, in the visionary state. Nurture, nurture the dream, nurture the vision, and imagine, use your daydreaming, imaginative powers to really feel like you've received this, um, successful life, that you're receiving what it is that you are intending to receive, this, how will it feel when you have this success that you are after, how will it feel, and really nurture that emotion, that emotional energy, and also, again, the clarity of your vision is key to the manifestation of that, very clear, very detailed, very accurate, and allow yourself to go there in meditative, daydreamy states to fully like feel what it would be like to actually experience that, your Ten of Pentacles, on the physical. Very, very beautiful. Very clear advice from your future self Pile number one about the key to your future success. Thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you here. And if the, this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number two. And welcome to your reading where we are stepping into the Akashic field, asking your future self, what is the key to your future success? And wow, you've got the key with the clock on it. Divine timing. We have angelic wings. I'm getting a very intuitive feeling from the wings. Obviously we have Avalon Priestess and Intuitive Awakening here. But the wings was like spreading your intuitive wings out into the ether, really gaining that broader sense, that broader sense of um, your internal compass of which way to go and when. Which way to go and when? Oh, yes. Really building, building that sense of intuitive action, intuitive awakening. We have our Avalon Priestess nurturing the flame, nurturing the flame of insight, intuition, internal guidance. And then we have this clasp on the throat chakra. So this is uh, knowing who you are and speaking your truth. Speaking up for yourself is coming through. Speaking up for yourself. Mm, and then we have our crescent moon, crescent moon. Mm, we see she is aligned with, what, with the energies around her. Third eye chakra. This card wanted to come out in the near future. Whoa, what a beautiful, golden, radiant message 
from your future self that in the very near future you will reach the success that that you want to experience on the bottom of the deck was a year from now so this is a course in motion i'm feeling like this is a message from your future self that this is your future self a year from now um, talking to and guiding you in this reading hear me now hear me now we've got this you have the seed of an idea a very uh, potent powerful idea wow that brings an enormous opportunity it is the opportunity there we go for you to create big happy changes in your life Ooh. Mm. Yes, this seed. Mm. Your future self is coming through very strongly, saying that in the very near future, oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Table. Hard work ahead. Okay, in the very near future, you are about to begin. You're about to take a certain opportunity. Perhaps you are guided to a new career pathway, a new job, a new home, a new place to live. And you're aligning with your internal guidance, your inner compass, your inner knowing. Aligning with your soul's purpose, trusting, trusting yourself, and trusting in divine timing. There's an opportunity incoming, and this could well be an opportunity that you have been nurturing here. There's the seed of an opportunity. Interesting shark coming out. Shark came out in pile number one. Table, hard work ahead. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Scales. Keep your life in balance. Wealth. <laughs> Look at the coins raining down upon you. Mm. Look at these ones. Four-leaf clover. Great good fortune. I absolutely shuffled the tea-leaf deck. This came out in pile number one as well. Career, yes, a very career-focused reading here. Financial wealth, financial abundance. A year from now, you will have gone through big, happy changes, pile number two. You're coming into alignment. You're sensing when to act and how with our shark energy. It's that intuitive, instinctual um, being in um, that intuitive space and then acting swiftly and clearly when necessary. I feel like there's an opportunity incoming or you have an opportunity in your hands now. These ones want to come out as well. And this is an opportunity for you to create wealth. This is an opportunity that's coming in the very near future or that you're about to begin and there's great good fortune here in the world of your work. Any projects, um, any, anything to do with your purpose, whether it's your um, money-making career or whether it's, it's a passion project. Great good fortune. There's a message here as well to keep your life in balance. So we will get to that one. Harp, great happiness, beautiful, beautiful messages from your future self. I mean, flowers, happiness, big happy changes, happiness, great happiness. A year from now, oh, set your sights on this, pile number two. Check this out. A year from now, you are very happy and you're in tune. You're in tune with the flow of life in tune with our two crescent moons on the third eye and in reality. Calm, peaceful, 
gentle energy, big happy changes, celebratory energy. March. At the time of this reading is the beginning of February. So again with this, um, in the near future, this could be the energy of, if you're watching this at a different time, you know, in a month or two, you're going to receive an opportunity. Yes, you're going to receive an opportunity that will lead you to big happy changes in your life. Great happiness, happiness. Or you decide to plant the seed in March. An idea that you're nurturing that is a beautiful opportunity that leads to abundance. I feel like many of you are nurturing this seed, this idea, this little flame. Mm, and it's almost the message of speak the truth to yourself, that you want this, that you desire this, that this is meant for you. Because it is, you're in alignment here with those wings, those intuitive wings. And the divine timing is key here. There's something about starting something quite soon. Whether that's a opportunity that knocks on your door or you planting a seed within a month or two that will lead to great good fortune in the world of your work. We also have Turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. But also Turkey represents abundance. Abundance to share. Mm, there could well be people, places or things that are challenging to navigate here with our shark in Turkey. We can get more information. Mm. Okay. Keep your life in balance. Let's go to the scales. Keep your life in balance. Oh, uh, work hard, play hard. <laughs> it's just what came through. That energy of like, yeah, if you're planting this seed, perhaps you're starting your own business. Um, it's important to keep the brightness in your life, um, to not get dogged down with um, having to um, do this now, your to-do list, um, energy of this kind, this... Um, kind of dogged energy, yes, of course, you're going to work hard if you're starting your own business or taking up this of this golden opportunity I'm getting. It's a golden opportunity. Uh, but it's important to have fun too. Have fun with your friends. Treat yourself. I'm getting a lot of self-care energy from the symbology here, the flowers and the cherries. This is beautiful. It's nourishing on another level. Um, you're absolutely creating nourishment in the world of wealth and finances. I mean, check it out raining down upon you. But um, the energy I'm getting is don't, don't be silly about it. You don't need to only focus on your work. You also need to make sure that you're taking care of your energetic happiness, your inner child self that feels nourished and cared for and playful and creative and has fun with friends. Yes, okay, that's the message with the turkey. That is the message with the turkey. Yeah. Yeah. And also with that um, word silliness, it's sort of like, it's, it's also good to bring in the, the silly childhood energy of play. Because what you're creating, your successful life a year from now, is all about happiness. This is the key to your future happiness. Yes, it's a key to your future success on the material plane here, but it's it's the key to um, your inner child being able to be let out to play is coming in. March is significant, very significant. This golden opportunity will come in in March or in a month or two, or you're about to plant this seed. And rest assured, your future self is telling you that that seed of an idea 
is going to lead you to great good fortune here with the four leaf clover. Retrograde, reversal, deceleration, distance. <laughs> I always get loop the loop energy from this card that maybe things don't go exactly as planned, but to roll with it. Roll with it. And maybe that's also this turkey energy here. Maybe, yeah, things don't seem to be uh, going the way that you thought that they would. Um, but it's this kind of turkey energy that's coming in in multiple ways in your reading. That it's okay. No matter what happens over the course of this year, pile number two, it is leading you to this beautiful, beautiful, happy, abundant future. Trust the process. And trust your instincts, your internal guidance here with the shark. This one wants to come out. Serious, self-care, wellness, agriculture. Absolutely, this is coming in line with our scales here. Keep your life in balance. Keep your life in balance. It's highly, this is really important. This is coming from your future self, pile number two. This is really important for you to make sure that you take care of your self-care and wellness. Mm. This could be what this energy is here as well, that perhaps too much focus on on the, the working, the hard work, it might lead to mistakes, errors in judgment, um, this kind of turkey energy of being unclear. Um, yeah, it's just coming through so clearly that it's so important for you to keep this work hard, play hard, really taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself and nurturing your inner child. What was this one that wanted to come through? Trine, auspicious, auspiciousness, positivity and luck. Four leaf clover, good luck. Positivity, luck, auspiciousness. It's everything is on your side. Everything's on your side for this beautiful future of great happiness here. Great happiness. Mmm, pile number two. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, three of cups, celebration. Boy, will you be celebrating with friends a year from now. Oh, goodness gracious. The full, take the leap of faith now in your career. If you get a golden opportunity, if you have a seed of an idea for a business or um, something like that, take the leap now. Take the leap within the next two months. Go on this ride, like ride the dragon. It's worth it, is what's coming through. It's worth it, pile number two. Take the chance on yourself. Make the move. Be willing to go on this wild ride of making your dreams come true. You've got the instinctual and intuitive ability to um, ride this dragon into its fruition over here, where you'll be celebrating with friends your great good fortune. The tower, massive move. Mm, coming in here with this loop the loop energy. This is life transformative. This is going to change your life. And this is also why such a focus here on this uh, balance, self-care, nurturing your inner child, because this is huge. The move that you are about to make is massive, life-changing. It's divine timing for you to do so. This is the golden opportunity. If you were waiting for a sign, pile number two, this is it. Make your move in the very near future. Nine of Wands, you got this. Again, that whatever's happening, let me bring this over here. 
whatever's happening on the physical, whether you're meeting the someone behaving stupidly or this take care, there will be loss of material wealth energy, these uh, frightening frightening energies, worried about your financial well-being, and then difficult, difficult people or situations over here. The guidance is to keep going. Keep going. No matter what, st stick to your path is what's coming through. This is a bold, bold move in your life, coming in in a month or two, or you're making this move in a month or two. It leads you to your freedom. It leads to happiness. The time is now, auspiciousness, positivity and luck, the time is now for you to make this move. Take this golden opportunity with both hands, even if it means leaving something significant behind, even if it means leaving an old life, an old career pathway behind. But because it's so huge, it's important for you to take care of yourself to really nurture your inner child, which I'm getting that energy from judgment here. She is so playful. Judgment is an enormous card. This is a life-changing card. This is rebirth. This is leaving the past behind. Well, these two together. Wow, the tower and judgment and the fool. <laughs> and then you've got the page of wands. So gorgeous, gorgeous energy gorgeous like this is powerful but she's so playful in this card she's singing a new tune she's saying goodbye to the old and perhaps it's goodbye to the shark energy and the turkey energy and the retrograde energy maybe that's a part of you making this move you're, you're tired of being mucked around by other people in other situations you want to do something for you, you have a vision, and that vision is true to you, it's divine timing for you to make this move. The move is being made on your behalf, if you're waiting for an opportunity to come in. The moves are being made on your behalf by your spirit team, but you, the key is you taking this golden opportunity. Absolutely, this has become clearer and clearer. So many facets of the turkey and shark energy, but I think quite possibly many of you are tired of this turkey energy or this financial instability energy. You want to take a chance on you. You want to set sail on your own ship. You want to take control. You want to say no more of the silliness, no more of being mucked around, no more of being at the sway of um, other people and situations. You want to take your future into your own hands and absolutely do it, <laughs> says your future self. Poll number two, take the chance on you. Page of Wands. Fresh, vibrant, hopeful, vibrant energy. This is bold. This is being willing to follow the path that your intuition is showing is ahead of you. It's the golden opportunity. The golden opportunity is now. Pile number two, take the chance on you. And remember to take care of yourself and your inner child. Ride it like the dragon that it is. The wild ride of life. Take this chance. Take this golden opportunity. Take a chance on you. Be willing to ride the dragon by keeping yourself in balance with this inner child playful energy. Make the move soon. And a year from now, these big happy changes that you'll be celebrating. You'll be super happy, very, very happy a year from now. Whatever's going on, keep going with the Nine of Wands. Keep going. You've got this, you can do this. Yeah, whatever, 
loop the loops, turkey people or situations come in, you've got just keep going. Stick to your dream, the seed that you've planted or the golden opportunity that you've taken. It's leading to abundance and great happiness. This is beautiful, pile number two. Thank you so very much for being here with me for this reading. I love having you here. And if this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading. Hello, pile number three. And welcome to your reading where we are tapping in to the Akashic field, we're stepping in to ask your future self for a message about what is the key, the key to your future success. And you've chosen this key here. And just before pressing record, I really noticed all of these balls on your key. A lot of things to come into play or a lot of balls in the air. I'm getting the energy of the nodes. Um, there's a philosopher, I've forgotten their name, um, but they talk about the intersecting points on uh, a web, like a spider's web. And those are the nodes. There's something, there's a message coming in here. And what alerted me to that was this Eight of Pentacles with our moon phases seeming like the balls in the air. Interesting. Now, as you can see, many cards wanted to come through in the um, pre shuffling process. Your card choice is Bridget, you are a healer. But we see a lot of alchemical energy here. Alchemy, and we see here as well, all of these uh, petals flying in the air. Our uh, Bridget's cross in the air. There's something in the air. There's something in the air around you. Wow. It's all coming together. It's all coming together. Remain alert with Manaz and our meerkat popping up to uh, sense or see danger or the potential for um, food and nutrients. The main message here is alertness. Remain alert at this time. Pile number three. Wow. I'm feeling the next one. Jera. I mean, we've got the B. This is this is abundance. This is fruition. This is fertility. Jera. Absolutely, harmony, abundance. Wow. Ooh, for some reason I'm getting the cat that got the cream, even though there's no cat. But it's just the way this B is alighting upon this flower with this sparkling quartz crystal in the middle, the cat that got the cream. Again, we've got this energy of things in the air. There's something in the air around you. Wow. There's something in the air around you. Right now. Right now. Wow. Pile, pile number three. Wow. Mm. Okay, Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups. So Knight of Cups is an offer that you will love. We're seeing it here with the Eight of Pentacles, which is the tarot card that talks about work. It's also the tarot card that talks about um, working in line with your purpose, that you are meant to do what you are doing or that what you're about to do. You're aligned with your heart chakra here with the green candle. Again, the flame, the flame here, alchemical symbology, green, the heart chakra. Ace of Wands, wow. Again, we're getting this energy of the nodes, the interconnecting points of the spider's web or of this um, jewellery adornment. But this is someone having a bright idea. And oh, wow, checking out these like 
rays of white light with these nodal points, these, these, um, wow. Goodness gracious me, like, from this one idea, wow, from this one idea that you have, suddenly from this one bright idea, it's like the, this juggler energy, like all of the energies, the necessary ingredients, the, the balls in the air of the juggler all um, come into play. Or perhaps they're already in play. Perhaps you've already had this bright idea. The fires are burning in your imagination, in your heart, here with all the green. You have something you want to manifest. Pile number three. Very clearly, Bridget's Cross, there's dedication and effort with our Eight of Pentacles as well. Dedication and effort to create this woven cross. This is your dream. This is symbolic of your dream. This is what you want to manifest. You want to alchemize something. This is the turning water into wine energy, or turning as it lead into gold in alchemy. You've got a bright idea, or you're about to. And this idea um, sets things in motion like universally. There's this energy of this idea that's heart-centered, throat chakra oriented, fires you up. It's something you're passionate about, also with the Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is just a heart-centered opportunity for you. It's like, yeah, this idea sets the universe in motion. Remain alert. Remain alert at this time. Because all of these energies, let's get some more cards. Yes, I mean, yes, 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 exclamation mark. Go for it. And again, this water into wine, our solar lunar energies, um, this alchemical manifestation energy. Remain alert to an opportunity incoming in the world of your work. But I think it's actually remain alert to the signs and signals around you. Mm, where do we want to go? Cards wise. This one. Oh. I mean, I had to look away <laughs> because <laughs> just con double confirmation here. Double confirmation. Wow. And Jera, fruition, abundance. Remain alert to these bright ideas that you have. If you have a bright idea that you are wondering if you should go for, yes, 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 go for it. Your future self has come through loud and clear. If you get an opportunity that aligns with your heart, so it aligns with your values I'm getting, it's in the world of your work, if this new opportunity that you really love, that you really like, comes in, take it, take it, say yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, some of you remain alert for this new opportunity that comes in in the world of your work, career, project, wow, and say yes to it. This is some clear as guidance for you, pile number three. And for others of you who have a particular idea, you've got an idea burning in your brain, burning in your heart. You want to alchemize this idea into reality. What has occurred for you is that you've set the balls in motion. You've set you've set the playing field ahead of you. Um, there's something about these nodal points, these key points along your pathway, pile number three, to, that you're being called by your future self to take notice of. One is this opportunity incoming. The other is if you have a bright idea, act on it now. Yes, yes, yes. 
all of the energy is being um, laid out in front of you and you will see the signs, you will see the signals, you will see the synchronicities and you will know that you're on the right path. Remain alert to these. Because they will show you the way forward, and that's this energy of the nodes. The, the you, something will happen, and you'll be like, "Yes, I'm on the right path." And then another thing will happen, and it will be again this confirmation of, "Yes, I'm on the right path." Yes, yes, yes. And just remain open to this because it creates this energy field around you, where it's almost like the trail of crumbs, um, energetically. This beautiful bright idea or this beautiful opportunity has laid out these crumbs ahead of you for you to follow to make your dreams come true, for you to achieve the success that you desire to achieve. Let's have a look at what's here. Oh yes, talk about bright idea. Two aces. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. This is you setting out on a new pathway. And it's all based in your mind. It's based on this idea. These two wanted to come out. King of Swords, again, highly intelligent, highly intuitive, and very clear thinking. Mm. Next to the moon, interesting. King of Swords in the moon. Mm. Ah, bowl, plenty of material things. I turned the deck over because that one fell out. Yes, yes, success. <laughs> yes, yes, success. Plenty of material things in Jira. Fruition, abundance, fertility. Gorgeous, gorgeous. With unicorn, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. That's why the intuition came up with King of Swords. Beautiful. Absolutely. If you are, hmm, if you're feeling unclear about your direction with our unicorn horn here, at this time, your guidance is to go within with the moon. Go within, connect in with your subconscious. Go within and even ask your subconscious self, your inner self, you know, the depths of your soul, what it is that you'd really like to do, what it is that you would really love to happen in your life. Really just come within. This is coming within the soul here to gain clarity, clarity of intent with the King of Swords. Clarity to make decisive action, decisive choices. The intuition here, you have the intuition, pole number three, the, the inner guidance, the inner wisdom to happen upon or to create or to suddenly see this bright idea. This is setting you on a pathway that you will love. A pathway of abundance, material abundance. And we're seeing here again the all of these nodal points I'm getting. I realize now that it's the Kabbalah tree of life, but it's that energy of the nodal points and just step by step by step the, the way will reveal itself to you. From the initial idea, the pathway, the way to achieve your success will be shown to you step by step by step, point by point by point. Mm, something here about if you ever feel lost on this pathway, Trust in your intuition. Use your intuition to guide you. That's the, that's the message here. Use your intuition to guide you. Wow. Oh, well, I just went to move this and this one stayed on the bottom. Second house finances value possessions. Yeah, a beautiful. What are these two? 
sixth house, work, service, house. Absolutely in the world of your work and your projects, um, your career. Imam Kweli, Nadir, origins, inner child. Kind of sensing that over here. Mm. This intuitive space, that it will be necessary on your path to come into this intuitive space of inner knowing, inner wisdom, trusting your own guidance system with our unicorn horn here. Now, there were some more tarot cards that wanted to come out. Temperance. And strength. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, one more. King of Wands. Powerful. Powerful. Vibrant. Um, the clarity here. You've got two. Oh, and the lovers. Yeah, you meeting your dream in reality. And this is this alchemy as well. I get this from temperance as well. That alchemizing the two energies. Mm. Everything coming together. Everything's going to come together for you. That energy again, that from this idea, two kings, two aces, you have the power, the capacity, the capabilities, you have what it takes and you also have the courage the red and this lion here with the king of wands and strength <sighs> boy do you have what it takes you've got the courage to do this to follow this idea this is this is it follow this idea it will lead you to um, a life of abundance and ease I'm getting. This is passion. This is a passionate idea. This idea has set the universe in motion in front of you, around you, and the universe has laid out certain steps for you to take. Trust your intuition. Trust your internal guidance. I'm getting with Nadia here. It's that blackness. It's the void. It's the moon energy. Trust your internal guidance, trust your inner wisdom. It is leading you to great success on the physical. This alchemical energy here is, there's an energy, there's an energy here of you being able to, it's the chariot energy, master the forces around you, the using your intuition Gosh, it's just something that's very energetic. It's not necessarily... Mm, it's all over here. The two. The two energies. Passion, desire, intuition. Passion, desire, intuition. It's these energies here, and again we get them here with the Ace of Wands and Ace of Swords. Also, it's the King of Swords and the King of Wands. These two energies, passion, intuition. Yeah, desire, wisdom. Balancing these two, this is the energies here. You're balancing these two, the fiery passion, desire, wants, um, yeah, wanting to like fire up and experience the life of your dreams, balanced with these very clear actions from the King of Swords and Ace of Swords, but it's this clarity of your intuition is coming through, this... Um, this attentiveness to the signs, signals, and synchronicities around you that will bring you face to face with your dream life, your dream success. Stunning. Stunning. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Stunning energy here. Wow, thank you so very much, poll number three, for being here with me for this reading. If this reading has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I would love to have you here for another reading.